What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, I'm going to show you how to install the HP Hardware Diagnostics Unit 5 on your HP laptop. So let's get right into the video. Okay guys, so in order to do this, first you have to open your browser. any browser I'm using Google Chrome then type in HP PC hard hardware diagnostics UEFI then scroll down and scroll down until you come up to this then click on the down HP Diagnostics UEFI button and it will start downloading. Okay, after it's downloaded, you need to go into your file explorer, then go into downloads and open up this file right here. If it says this, then just click on run. And then it'll ask you for a and then it'll pop up a user account control window. You just click on yes. And then it'll open setup. Then click on next. Accept the license terms. Then you, then you have to choose the path to install the hardware diagnostics or to or where to save the files, not the entire program. So, so select your path. I, I recommend you. I recommend you install all the files to a C drive. Then click on next, and now will extract the setup and. And then we'll start. Then I'll ask you for your language. Select your language. In my case, it's English, United States. And then this will pop up. It'll extract the files. And it'll start the installation. Then click on next. Then select the path where you want to install it to. So. So in this case, you need, if you're installing this on your your main HP PC, select the UEFI partition on hard drive option. Or if or if you want to use it on another computer, select the USB flash drive option, which requires a 256 megabytes and requires a FAT32 partition. So, in my case, I'm going to select UEFI, UEFI, UEFI partition on hard drive since that's where I'll be installing it to. And click on next, and then install. And now, we'll inst and now it will start installing the HP hardware diagnostics to your UEFI partition. And after it's installed, click on finish. Okay, so if you want to launch it to the hardware diagnostics, then do this. So, go and start menu, power, and then restart. And that will restart your computer. And now start pressing F2 on your keyboard. And after it's done, you're going to greet with this. So select your language from the menu. I'm going to choose English. And after you choose your language, 
Click on this over here. No, no. First, select your language, and now start initializing the diagnostics. And there you go. The DHP hardware diagnostics U5 is successfully installed on your computer. If you enjoyed the video, please like the video. If you haven't, dislike the video and subscribe if this helped you. So, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.